Hi, Andy here. This is part three of the Target CLI screencasts. We'll be talking a little bit about the configuration file and API access. The main goal behind talking about this is to make LIO as easy as possible to manage when you're dealing with hundreds of loans as when you're dealing with just a few. Target CLI is nice, but there's no easy way to create 100 loans without issuing 100 commands. Let's use this use case as our example for why you might want to modify the configuration file or use an API instead of target CLI. First, if you're more comfortable editing config files than using the configuration shell, you can. Target CLI saves a representation of the target state so it can be restored when the system restarts. The format is JSON, so it should be fairly human readable. It's saved to Etsy target save config dot JSON by default. Let's take a look. I've saved it to a temporary file. As you can see, all the information we entered into target CLI is represented here, and we could edit it. If we had defined one LUN and the configuration file and wanted to define 99 more, we could simply cut and paste the definition. When editing, be aware that names and WWNs are expected to be unique, so these need to be altered if pasted. Also, JSON lists are comma delimited, so make sure all blocks in a list end with a comma except for the final one. Doing all this may be useful in a pinch. Target CLI's save config and restore config commands take a location parameter to make this easier. Second, we have a Python API we can use. It's what Target CLI uses. It's called RTSLib, and it makes the raw configFS interface into the clean world of Python objects and lists. Here's a sample program that creates 100 RAM disks. Things should be mostly straightforward if you're familiar with Target CLI, but some things have different names. Looking at this code, we can see two things. First, RAM disk classes are internally called RDMCPs, and second, creating a RAM disk backstore actually involves instantiating two classes. Be aware that RTSLib is under development, so this example may not be valid down the road. Remember, you can always use Target CLI's implementation as reference code for the use of RTSLib. Third, you may want to write code to manipulate configFS directly especially if you prefer a language besides Python. If you do, please consider making it a library and open sourcing it. Finally, I must mention that if you invoke target CLI with parameters, it will evaluate them and exit instead of entering the shell. As a last resort, this may be useful for entering configuration. Well, that's all for now. If you have any trouble, please refer to the Target CLI man page. And if you're interested in contributing to Target CLI's or LIO's ongoing development, go to vger.kernel.org and join the Target Devel mailing list. Once again, I'm Andy, wishing you well and hoping you find LIO and the screencast useful. Bye!